Hello and welcome to Cashed Out Cars. In today's video, we're seeing how fast a Mazda Miata with about $1,200 worth of turbo parts could do zero to 60. So if you haven't seen this car before, this is my budget turbo Miata. It's a 1.6 liter 1993 Miata that I turbocharged for about $1,200. Right now, this thing is running about 9 PSI and we're out of fuel from the fuel pump at that 9 PSI. So we're gonna test this as sort of a benchmark for this car. A quick overview if you haven't seen this car before, we have an eBay turbo manifold, we have an eBay turbo, we have over the radiator intercooler piping that was all done custom. It has a small intercooler down here as you could see there. Um, it is running electronic boost control, but right now that's not to run more boosts, that's just to try to spool the turbo faster. It has a custom two and a half inch exhaust, and it is an internally gated turbo. So that's about what we got going for this car. Let's go see how fast this thing does it. Before I actually go do a few runs, let me know down below what you think this car is gonna do zero to 60 in, in this configuration. My guess is probably low sevens, maybe a high six, but we'll see. I tested a stock 1.8 Miata and that did about 8.9, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit faster than that, but still not crazy fast just on this nine PSI and with the open diff that is currently in it. Let's get to it. I'm gonna let it warm up for a little bit here, get all of my camera gear situated, and then we'll take it for a drive. All right, so right now I'm just driving this thing around, getting it warmed up, and then we'll go do some pulls with our draggy GPS timer, and that will tell us how fast this thing does zero to 60. We'll do a few runs just to make sure we're pretty consistent and we actually get the best out of this car. So right now this car is not set up with launch control. I have set it up before, but I sort of stopped using it because I was worried that I was gonna break this car. So for right now, we're just gonna bring it up to RPM, dump the clutch and go. Now with this specific car here, we're gonna get some turbo lag doing that because the turbo is sized a little bit bigger than I want, which is why I'm sort of using that electronic boost controller to combat that right now. Um, but we'll see how it does. Like I said, this is gonna be a benchmark and let me know down below what you think this thing is gonna do. I'm pretty excited to find out. set up the camera, set up the draggy, and then we'll see how this thing does. All right, here we go for all the marbles. All right, zero to 60 right there was 7.27 and I absolutely smoked the tires on that launch so I know we could do better than that. Let's go line up back over there again and I will do that once more. All right, I'll set up the camera and then we'll do one more. All right, here we go for round two. That run was zero to 60 in 7.29. So that's about what I expected. I did totally blow the launch on that one. Um, I might do one more um, just to see if I could get that launch a little bit better. All right, here we go, one last attempt. All right, I have no idea what we ran there. We'll have to check that after. I'll check that once I get home. 
All right, guys, so the results are in. This thing did zero to 60 in a whopping 6.55 seconds. Now, that is actually a little bit quicker than I thought I was gonna be able to do it, but it's by no means fast. It does feel quick, of course, but it's not a rocket ship. Um, one thing that I could do better is get my first to second shifts down. This transmission's pretty sloppy, so I wasn't really hammered into gear. That would probably save a few tenths. And then also on the launch, this open diff was just lighting tires up. So I was pedaling it, trying to get traction in first. Once I was into second it was pretty decent to hook up and just go and yeah 6.55 seconds is the result if you want to see me turn up the wick on this car make this thing a little bit faster with more boost better shifts a better diff better tires and all of that stuff definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see a k-swapped miata tested zero to 60 we have that coming up pretty soon too so subscribe if you want to see that like this video if you enjoyed it and i hope you stick around for the next one take care